So this is a video that I've been looking forward to making for a while now, and that's because I just took my final exam and I'm officially done with my first semester of medical school. And so what I want to do with this video is just candidly reflect back on my experiences as a medical student so far, including the things that I learned and the things that I wish I knew. So starting with the first day, I remember it like it was just yesterday. It was July 13th, and I was so excited to get up and drive to the campus for the first time as a medical student. I felt so lucky and so blessed to have been accepted into my medical school and that hasn't changed. Every single day when I'm studying or I get to wear like a shirt like this, I feel so lucky to have been accepted to my school. I know it was the right choice. I know it was the right school for me. The faculty has been amazing. They've worked with us really well. And I just have overall really liked my experience here so far. And my classmates are awesome. Out of about 1800 applications, they chose 60 of us to attend this school. And I think that they made a really good decision. They chose us for like other factors that weren't just academic. My class has a lot of personality. They have a lot of history. We have students that came from other professions. We have a lot of athletes. I think they did a really good job of picking us. And in general, we all vibe together very, very well. I can't think of a single gunner in my entire class. They're all very friendly, very social. And even through like, you know, the pandemic and everything, I feel like we've been able to like actually get to know each other. We have a Slack channel that we're always communicating in. We're always like, you know, going to classes together online. And, you know, even online, I feel like we've still gotten to get to know each other very, very well. And in general, I'm just very happy to be part of this class. Like, I really like everyone. I've made such close friends and I have friends that like, I already can't imagine not having. Uh, one of my buddies, we've been hopping on Discord like every single day for like the last like almost four weeks, just doing practice questions together. And you know, those are the kind of relationships that I was looking forward to making in medical school. And I feel like I can confidently say that I have, and I'm excited to just like really get to know these guys over the next four years and eventually be doctors together. So when it came to getting into the routine of medical school, I think that's what I had the hardest time with. I remember at the beginning, like it was really hard for me to study like all day. I would study for a couple hours and I would just be like exhausted. I just didn't have like the mental stamina. And I think maybe it's because like, I had like a year off, which I don't regret. I totally recommend taking a year off because I really just enjoyed the downtime to relax before starting medical school. But I definitely felt super sluggish at the beginning. And a lot of the beginning topics were things like biochemistry, genetics, immunology, microbiology, which are actually classes I never took in undergrad. So I think in general, like the topics were just really difficult for me. And I had a hard time just like sitting there and concentrating, which I think did get better over medical school or over the last semester because you know, you kind of figure out your habits, you figure out how you learn. I know that I like to use like Boards and Beyond and then Anki, and then I like to supplement with Pathoma, Sketchy, um, you know, our lecture materials that are pre-recorded. I like to watch those like later on in the block. And I like to do like tons of practice questions, but I've also learned that I don't necessarily retain information all that well. Like I'll do multiple passes on like the same material, but like then I do practice questions and I forget things or on our actual exams, like I've been pretty much scoring at like a 78% average this entire time, which is totally fine because my school does pass fail. But like a lot of my mistakes on exam is like, just changing like questions from right to wrong or like second guessing myself. And then after the exam, I'll talk to someone about it and I'll be like, oh yeah, like I totally knew that. So I feel like I know a lot, like I've learned so much and it's totally not possible for an exam to like really like tell you how much you've actually learned because you know, 60 questions will never truly be able to test everything you've learned. Like I feel like I've learned so, 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 so much. And you know, just because I'm scoring high C's on my exams doesn't mean that I haven't learned enough to like get a B or an A. It just means, you know, there's just a couple things that I need to like brush up on or maybe like test taking strategies I need to get better at or I need to stop second guessing myself is also a big thing. But like in general, I've learned a lot. Like I can have conversations about all these different like topics with people, all these different pathologies. And you know, it, it's really awesome. Like I, I've learned not to like really let a test score define me and like how much I've learned and to really just use it all as a learning experience because one day as a doctor, like, you know, I'm gonna use all this information and we're pretty much learning to save lives. And so that's kind of like what I'm focused on right now. And you know, I've got a lot of time to like really hone in on these skills. And so a lot of this first semester has really been like coming to terms with that and like just kind of getting used to the whole overall pace of medical school. And when it comes to the actual difficulty of what we're learning, it's really not that bad. Like nothing we learn is so like crazy or out there that you like just can't learn it. It's actually all pretty easy just in general to like remember or like remember some buzzwords that when you see it on exam, you know what disease it is or like what pathology or anything it is. 
But the hard part is, you know, they say that when you start medical school, it's like drinking out of a fire hydrant. And that's totally true because, you know, you might have like this one disease that you have to learn, right? But you have to learn like the associated biochemistry, the associated microbiology, the associated genetics, the relevant pharmacology, the anatomy, the physiology. It's like just one thing, you know, and then you have to like learn all these different aspects about it. And then you have to learn like a bunch of other things as well. And then all the different aspects of that. And that's what's hard. That's what's really difficult to like, you know, kind of like remember everything, but it also kind of gives you structure and it gives you a way to like start that you're like, okay, I'm gonna learn these diseases and then I'm gonna like break that disease and then break it down and then learn all these aspects. And in that sense, that's actually fine. Like it gives you a lot of structure, but also what's kind of hard about starting medical school is just like getting on your schedule and like how you're gonna like schedule and time to do everything because you know, you're not just sitting at home studying all day, you actually have classes as well. So in undergrad, if you took 12 to 15 credits worth of classes, you were considered a full-time student. But in medical school, we're taking actually 30 credits of classes, which is basically double what a full-time student does in undergrad, which is actually pretty crazy. So the breakdown of my schedule is that we have anatomy every single Monday from eight to 10. We start every single anatomy class with a quiz, and then we have a lecture that will be quizzed on the following week. And we then have like two hours worth of lecture following that from 10 to 12. And then on Tuesdays, we have lecture from 8 a.m. to 12 p.m. And then we have PBL or problem-based learning from one to four. And then, you know, that's pretty much it for the rest of the day. And then on Wednesday, we have class for uh, analytics and medicine, which is basically epidemiology. And that's from 8 a.m. to 10 a.m. And then we have our community service class from 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. And that's pretty much it for the entire day. But on Wednesdays, I also had to work on presentations to give in PBL the following day based on learning issues that we had the previous day in PBL. And so that takes up some of my time on Wednesdays. And then on Thursdays, we have our foundations of clinical practice class or doctoring from about you know eight to 10 or 10 to 12, depending on the day. And then we have PBL again from 1 p.m. to 4 p.m. And so like your entire Thursday is just taken up by that. And then Fridays, we have a little bit of variability where we have lectures from 8 a.m. to 12 p.m. And then every few weeks, we have a food meets health course where we're basically learning about diets for our patients. You know, say we have a diabetic patient or we have patients with allergies, we kind of learn about like these foods that they can make or diet plans that they can be on. That way we don't just advise like medications for our patients, but we can actually advise like dietary changes that they can make. And so between all of those classes, you have to fit in studying. And that's what's hard about medical school. That's what's difficult is you have to like schedule your days and you have to figure out like, when am I gonna study? When am I gonna do my Anki cards? When am I gonna watch new lectures? When am I gonna review old material? It's, it's hard and I had a really hard time with that at the beginning where I did not really know like how I like to like split up my days and you know now i have like a pretty good idea of it i like to wake up like every single day and immediately do my anki if i can uh i they will then go to class and after my classes are done for the day that's where i'll like study new material so for example on tuesdays i like to wake up between 6 and 8 a.m and i like to do my anki cards and then between then and pbl is when i'll start watching like new lecture material because i know that my concentration is a little bit better in the morning because later in the day i like to relax and i like to kind of just like take time for myself so i like to do new material as early as i can and and then maybe I'll have PBL from like 1 p.m. to 4 p.m. And then I'll do maybe like practice questions later in the day because I think it's easier to like do practice questions and review material later in the day than it is to do it early in the day because then earlier in the day I like to do new material. And so that's just kind of like what I figured out works well for me. And those of you guys who have been watching my vlogs know that I like to play video games most nights because you know, I could study all day every single day, but I also know that it's important just to take some downtime. Playing video games is like my way to like keep in contact with my friends that aren't in medical school and it's just easy to hop on. So like every single night, usually around like, you know, anywhere from seven to nine, I'll hop on Discord, play some games. And you know, no matter what I have or haven't gotten done that day, I like to do that because that hour or two that I'm playing video games really isn't gonna make a big difference in the grand scheme of like how much I learn or how well I'm gonna do on an exam, but it is gonna make a big difference in my own quality of life and having something to look forward to every single day while I'm studying. And speaking of quality of life, I honestly did not take very good care of myself when medical school started. So I hadn't necessarily had great habits before school started. You know, I was eating out a lot. I didn't really grocery shop all that much. And I really didn't notice the effects of it too much until I got into medical school. And I just noticed like, I think between maybe the start of medical school and September, maybe even October, I think I grocery shopped like one time. And 
it's just because we were always studying. I was going to campus a couple of days a week and I used like, you know, fast food or eating out as like a way of like rewarding myself. It was also just easier. It was more convenient than cooking. And I also just wasn't exercising because, you know, growing up, I did a lot of acrobatics as some of you guys might know. And so exercise or like planned physical activity wasn't really something that I had to like ever really schedule into my day that much. But you know, over the last like year or so, I've gotten like way more sedentary than I've ever been in my entire life. And I really started to feel the effects of eating out so much and the lack of exercise. Kind of in October, I had weighed the heaviest that I've ever weighed in my entire life. And I remember thinking like, I'm not taking good care of myself. Like I'm studying all day and I'm eating like terribly and I'm not exercising. And so around October is when I decided I wanna start taking better care of myself. I started going to the gym on campus. I got the exercise bike, which I talk about all the time on my channel, but it's honestly like one of the best quality of life purchases I've ever made. I started riding that every single day. I do home workouts almost every single day now. I haven't eaten out like as much like over the past like month and a half or so. Ever since I got COVID really is when I stopped like eating out because I now have groceries and I've eaten out like maybe four times since like then, which is really, really good for me. It was just in like maybe like social settings and I basically cook at home like every single day now. And if you're following my vlogs, I hope that you've like seen that progression because I used to get comments on my videos like, Sean, you eat out too much. You're ordering, you know, too much fast food. You're not eating healthy. And like, you're totally right. And over the last like few weeks, I've really been just like eating at home. I've been exercising at home. And I really hope that that like progression has been apparent on my channel because that was something I really wanted to be transparent about was that like, you know, this is a novel experience for me. This is a new experience and I'm going to be progressing as a person throughout it. And I want you guys to see every part of it. And so I progressed from eating out all the time to like barely eating out now, pretty much never unless it's a social setting. I, uh, I exercise every single day. I feel just in general happier that I've been doing those things. I still take time to myself to play video games and I you know, edit YouTube videos and everything because those are the things that just make me happy. And that's something that I just wanna prioritize. And you know, I think is really important that no matter like what you're doing, quality of life is just so, so important. And nothing is worth it if you're suffering and if you're unhappy. So, you know, take some downtime. If you're tired of studying, take a break. You know, none of this is worth it if you're unhappy, right? And so that's something that I've really just been trying to instill in myself. And so of course I could study probably like way more every single day, maybe up my test grades or something, but like, I'm happy. I really enjoy being here. I'm not burnt out. I have loved being in medical school so far. I'm building better routines for myself. I'm building better habits. And I think that's just part of the experience. Another thing that's really contributed to my experience so far is YouTube, but more specifically you guys. I started making YouTube videos in August of 2019. I was at my first medical school interview. I vlogged it. I had like maybe like 15 subscribers and like barely any views. And now we're at over 26,000 subscribers. A lot of you guys are here from when I started medical school, when I was moving into my apartment or my vlog from my first day of medical school. And your support has meant so, so much to me. There are so many of you guys that comment on my videos and it just keeps me motivated so, so, so much. It has made my whole quality of life as a medical student better. I feel like it's not just like me who I'm doing this for. I feel like I'm doing this for you guys as well because I wanna show you guys what this is like and what my experiences are like and your guys' positive comments all of your support, you know, you guys will DM me on Instagram. I love it. And it seriously just added so much value to this experience, knowing that I'm not just doing it for myself, but I'm also doing it for you guys. And so I just cannot thank you guys enough for all the support you guys have given me. It has been so much fun. I love making these vlogs. I love making these YouTube videos. And this is just not something I expected to be a big factor in being a medical student because you know, before I started medical school, I was doing this for fun and I still am doing this for fun, but I didn't expect to like be doing this for fun for so many people. And I, again, just cannot thank you guys enough for that. Overall, I love being a medical student. I love being a student at my school. I love my classmates. I love the faculty. I love doing this. You know, every single day is stressful and tiring, but I could not imagine myself doing anything different. This is what I've wanted for years. And I still feel like not broken. I still feel so refreshed. These next two weeks off are gonna be really, really nice. But in general, like, you know, I'm ready to go. I'm ready to 
work towards the next year. I'm ready to keep like furthering my education, learning more. Medical school really is more than just sitting and studying all day. It's your chance to grow as a person, to grow as a professional, to make new friendships, to explore your passions and other hobbies. It is just such a enlightening experience. It's a lot of fun. You know, once you look past all the studying and everything, and you look back like even you know just the five months i have loved it and i am so happy to be here i'm so happy to be a medical student and i'm so excited just to be a doctor one day for all of you guys who have been following my journey so far i just want to say thank you so much i really hope that i have been able to show you guys what it's been like to be a medical student so far more specifically a new medical student and you know i'm going to keep doing that over the next four years and then hopefully even as a doctor because i think it's important to share our experiences because you know, I've made a lot of mistakes in medical school. I look back and I wish I had done a lot of things. I wish I took better care of myself. I wish I learned how to study better earlier on. But you know, if you guys can learn from what I'm doing now and you guys can be more prepared when you guys come into medical school, that's the whole goal of my channel. And that's the whole goal of what I'm going for here. If you guys stuck around to the end of this video, thank you so much. I'm gonna have the vlog of my exam week posted probably the day after this video goes up. So make sure to check that out and make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one.